How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Numbnuts, coming at you with another video of my thoughts on what Star Wars Battlefront could have been. Now, recently, there was some leaked footage on Reddit of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3 before LucasArts was bought, uh, bought out, and the rights to Star Wars Battlefront were given to EA. And even though Battlefront left a bad taste in our mouth in, two, in 2015, you know, I, I mean, being a pretty game isn't everything, you know. It's just, it just lacks so much depth. And this is what I think Star Wars Battlefront could have been if taking the right elements of this game. And this game, what you're looking at is Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. There is unbelievably so much depth and Star Wars Battlefront just has so many issues. Like on the PC side, there's a huge lack of players. Where's everybody at? And a low skill level. Get up! I got one. It's just it just appalls me. Like if you look at the predecessors of of the, the of uh, Battlefront, the Battlefront predecessor games, you just. How could you? How could this have been a hit and miss? How could this be, have been a total failure? You had examples after examples after examples, and you decided to just cut out all the the variations, the depth, what bat, what made Battlefront truly Battlefront? Did you just focus on on a pretty graphics? Like it just. And, and, and all the audio, I mean, props to you for making such an awesome game, but, I mean, come on, it's Battlefront, it's Star Wars, you could have done so much more. And yet, not, and yet, it's just, on the PC side, as, as far as I know, it's just a total flop. And, and they try to push DLCs and season passes down your throat. It, it, that's, how, that's just how it feels to me. And Star Wars... Battlefront Elite Squadron is a prime example of that. You have the customization. You can customize your character model. You can pick the classes you want to play. You can have a sniper. You can have a, a rocket launcher. You can be a mechanic. But what, 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 how many weapons do you get in, in the Battlefront we have now? Like five? Six? It's just... Uh, how could this have been such a total flop? It, it 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 just blows my mind. Now, Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron is just the prime example of what Star Wars Battlefront could have been. Arguably, in my opinion, arguably, this is better than Battlefront 2. You know, if t uh, taking out the multiplayer. This is better than this is better than Battlefront 2. If we could have had what what Elite Squadron has for Battlefront, it would have been uh, it would have been a contender for a Game of the Year. It probably would have been Game of the Year or close to it, at least. But it was far far from it. From a Star Wars game, I mean, everybody can agree that game was just there to build up hype for the movie. Honestly, that's all it was. And you're seeing right here, it's just you, you can you can. There's more maps. If you if you remember in the beginning, there's more maps in in uh, to choose from compared to the battlefront we have now. You can pick between what era you want to play. And if you and look look at these loadouts. Look at that. You can customize your own loadout, or you can pick a default one. You can have a sniper rifle, as I was mentioned before, or a, or a rocket launcher, as I mentioned before. And right now, I just want to transition to the gameplay here. And if you see that point, I was I'm, I'm always around that point because it holds the ion cannon, and the ion cannon is a cannon that can blast down the enemy ship's shields. And you see how every time I take the perfect shot in that green area, that optimal area. It depletes the shields or the rebel ship shields. This is how what I want to call phase one of this game, of how this game is playing out. This is just absolute. When, when I played this, coming from Battlefront 2 
to this, it just blew my mind what you can do. And 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 they can stop you. The enemy team can stop you by starting to capture that point. And you see here, this is the last shot that takes out shields. So phase one was to take take over the point with the ion cannon and deplete their shields. Okay, once phase one was complete, phase two, take a ship and transition into space. Look, you can even play as Boba Fett and change the ship as you go. I don't remember if, if you could do that anywhere else, but phase two is to take a ship and invade the mother ship. That's right, you can go in these ships. This is on a PSP, guys. A handheld device can do this. And you're telling me that, that we don't have anything to do? We, the, the the controls on on the, uh, the spaceships are, are lacking depth? You can... So here we go, we're boarding the ship as Boba Fett. And we're on. And see that point right there? You can take that point and now your team can spawn there and take over. I have never at this time when I played this game as a little kid felt this such large scale warfare. It was just other than Battlefront 2, this just, just took it to a whole nother level. I'm telling you guys, the depth behind this game is just over the top. For such an old game, I cannot believe that that EA that DICE completely missed this. So now, part of phase 2, or actually that's the end of phase 2, phase 3, once you aborted the ship, find the reactor core. You want to blow that baby up, right? So here I am as Boba Fett, um, trying to scramble to find the reactor core. And I think I find it right here. This is the room. Yep, there it is. And it's already on low health. For some reason that I cannot, uh, you know, no. All right, so here we go, Boba Fett. I'm almost dead, right? But I can spawn back in because my team's already captured that point. They're they're defending for me. And so let's just say I'm I'm back, right? I'm back, and the reactor core is down. Okay, part of phase three. Once that reactor core is down, you have to escape the the ship. Now. There's two ways you can do this. You can board an enemy uh, spaceship and leave through the dock. The other way, my most favorite way, this is my favorite part of, the, of this uh, game, is you can find an escape pod. Yes, there are escape pods. So it just, it just feels that much more authentic. Like you just blew it up and you gotta leave before it blows up. And you find an escape pod and you're out of there. You're back on Tatooine. Can you imagine? I just, I just want you to, to imagine this with me. The, the how, how uh, a game, a mod, uh, a game like this on a modern level on how it can play out. It's just imagine, imagine spawning in on the ground, and you're supposed to take over the points in. And right in the middle is the ion cannon, and you fight with your team to take over that ion cannon. All right, you fight with it, fight with your team, get the enemy team with that ion cannon. While simultaneously, there is a space battle going on, raging or waging, excuse me, waging in space. While you are on the ground trying to get control of the ion cannon to deplete the shields, that way. People in space can immediately board the the mothership and destroy it from the inside. It's just and and then and then they escape and either the game ends there or there's a a a, a, a point limit, which in this one right here is a thousand, and we're at nine hundred to ten to. 740 and here I am again as Boba Fett just you know and I'm not some sort of overpowered Boba Fett you can tell I'm getting shot right here you know the AI is not 
someone you can just take advantage of. You're not some sort of overpowered Boba Fett like I've seen. I've seen a couple videos online of people going on insane kill streaks as Boba Fett. But yeah, guys, just honestly, it just it blows my mind how like Star Wars Battlefront game dips this depth. And it's in the depth of the other previous Battlefront games could have not transferred over onto the Battlefront that we have now. It's a total flop, guys. There's like hardly anyone playing it on the PC side. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to the video. These are just my thoughts on what Star Wars Battlefront could have been. If you liked the video, go ahead and like that video. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Leave a comment below um, if you agree with me or what your vision of Star Wars Battlefront could have been. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.